Just a short video of the uh, 12 meter Harry Prower I just bought. I bought it up here in Taipa. So I went up there, had to do a bit of work, glue some windows back in. The thing was pretty poorly. It's been, hasn't been used for a while. So I left there about just after lunch on the one day, sailed around to the Cavalli Islands for the first night, just there. Uh, next, next morning after the motor, I had to fix the motor. Sailed down past the Bay of Islands and into Tutakaka. Arrived there just before dark. Left again the next morning and went down past Whangarei. Onto another map and all the way down to Army Bay. So that's just north of Auckland. Got there just before dark. Left the next morning in the dark, 5 o'clock in the morning to catch a bit of the tide up into Auckland Harbour and parked it up just into uh, just under the Harbour Bridge there, Little Shoal Bay. And I didn't do too much filming of that because it was time to get home because of this uh, coronavirus, I had to get back. So I've just parked it up there and uh, we'll get back to it over when everything's cleared. I'll do some work on it. So it's a pretty cool boat, quite happy the way it sails and it's definitely worth doing a bit of work on. Tremendous control of, I think, very important to young people, people of good health, uh, um, and groups of people just are not strongly affected. Uh, elderly people that are not well, or not well in certain respects, are uh, really a very a dangerous group. We have to watch them. We have to protect them very much. We have to really watch over them and protect them because they, they are very vulnerable. President Trump, the... piercing sort of bow is just sliding through the water and because the hulls are quite flat like not a lot of rocker it sort of keeps it pretty level it's not sort of pitching a lot like you'd expect even though I'm still motoring there's not, not much wind and it's pretty much on the nose it's, at least we're making some progress we're on our way not much wind as yet Six knots, we've got the autopilot tied to an oar. It's holding the course. Motor's working alright. Must be time. For a bottle of sparkling grape juice. Woohoo! This is it, we're leaving. Hopefully, well, it looks, the weather looks lovely now. Motor's running sweet, tide's coming in. It's quarter to one. The weather looks like it's going to be good for me to get to Auckland in three days. Yeah, so I'm just about ready to go. Glued some things on and tied some things down. Got some spare bits and pieces. I've emptied most most of the stuff out of the van, so I should have enough stuff. You're going to be all right. You're going to be sailing. Sailing. I'll be Ooh. sailing away. There's a lovely breeze. Just got to wait for it to turn a bit and we'll be good to go. What about you, Shorty? Oh, well, I've, I've, I've been in this position with you before, David. We just, we just, you know, we know you'll bounce back. The other person we saw was Stan up on the hill. Did you know him up on the hill over oh, there? Yeah. Stan, though. Uh, we can't do Stan Piper. He's a good bloke. Yeah, okay, good. that's it. I'm turning off. It's the end of day one, made it to an anchorage about, made about 30 miles just near the Bay of Islands. I had to motor all the way and just before I got here that Honda stopped going. It looked like uh, it was flooding, it was like heaps of fuel running out of the carburetor. So I put that little four horse on. And then I put that one back and it seems to, seems to be working again now so I'll try it tomorrow. So a nice sunset. Nice little anchorage, and we'll have another go tomorrow. 
beautiful. Find a place to sleep in there amongst all the chaos. Try and find something to eat. Going through the Cavalli Islands, head towards Cape Brent, more to the south. The motor <coughs> seems to be going all right. Out of the jetty, seems to help on the throttle linkage. So let's uh, fingers crossed the wind will come right and the motor will keep going. We get to Auckland. Getting ready to put that motor back together, and it looks like the throttle linkage has got a little bit missing. So we've got to cut a piece off my jandle to fill that in and see if that works. Sailing now, we've got a Wind on our quarter. So I'm sailing it the wrong way around because that's where the autopilot is. So just instead of doing a shunt, just keep going like this. Yeah, picking up some speed, got my seven knots. And I've set up a navigation light so I can spin them around if I need to go the other way. So at least it gets dark. Put some lights on. And hopefully I'll get somewhere before dark anyway. We're getting along alright now, the motor's turned off. Very smooth, easy sailing now, downwind. So we'll get it to the carca before it gets dark. And then get close to walking tomorrow. That's the fat hull, and that's the skinny hull. Pilot. Doing the job for now. Not using the front rudder, got that one up. Still sailing around the wrong way, back to front. Should be, should be going backwards apparently. Bit bird's eye view. Behind us, we enter to see if they catch up. Day three, left real early this morning from two to Kaka, left about still dark, just about seven. This is Sail Rock, uh, the hen and chickens, and that's Whangarei, Whangarei heads behind us and we had the motor going earlier now we're just sliding along, wind behind us, doing about six knots. Still got the sail the wrong way around, still using the autopilot. Got the motor ready to go. Been busy doing a few bits and pieces, lashing on something there for a use for a cleat. I'll tie up when I get to the mooring, go up the front. Another one there at the back. Uh, once I've done some work, I'll put some more cleats, but that's not a bad way to tie stuff on without doing any damage. Don't have to drill any holes or anything, and that'll hold plenty.
day three, we've arrived at Army Bay, just slightly north of Auckland, Wangapura Peninsula, and got here about seven, left seven this morning, so it's 12 hours, we did about 67 miles, some sailing, some motor sailing, wind's pretty calm now, so we'll do the last little bit in the morning, should get where I've got to go by, I don't know, mid morning and then tomorrow I'll catch the bus back up north and get my van and bring it home and get back to New Plymouth. Boat went pretty good today, motored it alright, starting to get the hang of it. Found out what this little hole's for. Perfect. For dropping eggshells down. It's a perfect size. <laughs> 